Back up, Mima. All right. We got new, we got new Hobson, and that's really all that has to be said. Roll it. Hold up, it's a little dark in here. Is that better? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider becoming part of this little family. Click in the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. And as you can see on deck, we got new Hopson. And I'm always excited when Hopson drops because you never know what you're gonna get with the guy. Now Hop here hasn't dropped an album in a couple of years. He went on that mental health hiatus, you know, take as long as you need whenever it comes to that kind of shit. And between that hiatus and between here, he's just like sprinkled in a couple of singles. He had that one single, then he had the one with Dax, and then he had the COVID freestyle that we did right before this, and then here we have his latest one, Kumbaya. But I'm excited, I'm a fan of Hop, and you know, you never know what you're gonna get with the guy, like I said, so kinda keeps you on your toes. So let's just get on into it, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter, at the third earnest, just like the channel, links down in the description below, and we got Kumbaya Hopson. Let's get it. Kumbaya, my lord, I might say things that you might not support. We oh, we're just jump, we're just jumping right off into it. No intro, no nothing. I'm about to rewind, but he said, "Kumbaya, I may say things, Lord, that you might not support easily." Ill mind a Hobson, fuck six, I think it is. It's like all about questioning God and His existence. Kumbaya, my Lord, I might say things that you might not support. When do I drop the torch? Bless my enemies, with whom I mop the floor with. Ooh. It's true, my thoughts are more. Bit. I'ma do my job, of course. Shit, can't fit in my shoes. Niggas wishing I lose. I'ma get it like. Ooh. I done left it all behind me in Cali while yelling goodbye to my family. I had to do a little. Hold up, hold up. Ah, the beat. And then the way it went right into the beat drop with the whoo. Yo, right here. That was fire. I'm gonna get it like whoo. I done left it all behind me in Cali. Yeah, all right, all right. That was tight for sure. He said, when do I drop the torch and bless my enemies with whom I mop the floor with? Because the only way they're ever going to get a chance to shine is if I drop this torch and like and, and give it to them and give them that chance to shine. So they should feel lucky and grateful and thankful that I dropped the torch because I, I blessed them with this gift of me retiring. That's a bar. But just that lyrical breakdown and that instrumental breakdown right before it goes into the beat drop. They can't fit in my shoes. They be wishing I lose. About to get it like woo. And then beat. Yo, that's fire. Ain't fit in my shoes. Niggas wishing I lose. I'ma get it like woo. I done left it all behind me in Cali while yelling goodbye to my family. I had to do a little soul search. All of my demons kept on fighting and scrapping. Inside of my mind, I was crashing. Maybe I was having a growth spurt. They tell me I should go. That's what I was just talking about when I was talking about on the intro when I said he had to leave. He had to go away so that way he could, he could get right in his mind. Dave Chappelle was really on that keep your spiritual energy right type shit way before everybody else. Dude was being offered so much money and it didn't sit right. So he's like, nah, I'm just going to walk away from that. And that's basically what Hop's saying right here. I was having a growth spurt. They tell me I should go out and mingle. It don't work. What? I've contemplated on whether or not to smoke perp. No. Think you sick in the head? Come visit my shed. I live on the edge. Let's jump. Should I go first? Mm. Yikes. Wipe a you think who? Oh, you think you sick in the head? Come visit me in my shed in this random ass like middle of nowhere. I live on the edge. You want to jump off? I'll go first. That's a bar. And I like the video editing right here. It's super simple. I don't know if I'm liking, I don't know if I'm liking like the desaturation and only having certain colors saturated. That's always seemed gimmicky to me. Like even, even in, even in photography where everything is black and white except for the flag or everything is black and white except for the rose that's coming up through the ground, that kind of shit. But the editing is simple. It doesn't take away from the actual song. It emphasizes the beat actually, if anything. When we get that long drawn out bass note, like the camera shakes. And then when we have the short bass note, it punches in, changes colors and punches out. But we about to get to that second beat drop. Yeah, I live on the edge. Let's jump. Should I go first? Mm. Yikes, quite preposterous. Yeah. White kids soaking up the hype up off it. Hi, I'm Hops and I'm obnoxious. I've been talking like the guy from Boston. Watch me rise to top 10. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. He said, I've been token like the guy from Boston, like token the rapper, but also like token like, like smoking marijuana. I've been token like the guy from Boston. Fire. Fire that he's even shouting him out in the first place. And just the rhyme scheme, the hype up off it. Hi, I'm Hobson, token like the guy from Boston. Fire. Hi, I'm Hobson, I'm obnoxious. I've been token like the guy from Boston. Watch me rise to top 10. You know what I mean? Ain't no one like me. I'ma turn all of my haters to some overnight fiends. I done made a lot of money from exposing my creep. Flow catch bodies like it's COVID-19, nigga. Bitch, listen, I'm <laughs> 
He said, I made a lot of money off of exposing my grief. Like I write all my pain, I write my heartache, I write my mental issues on the pad and I'm making money off that because people can relate. And then he said, my flow been catching bodies like COVID-19. That's a 2020 bar right there. He said, I'm gonna turn all my haters into some overnight fiends because even the haters can't deny. The haters can't deny the drug that I'm, the product that I'm pushing. The only thing I don't like about this so far is the color grading of the music video. And that's not even a knock on the song. So I'm about it so far. Flow catch bodies like it's COVID-19. Nigga. Bitch, listen, I'm exerting the gas fumes. I'm the asshole who goes to work in the bad mood. Yeah. Me and my alter ego make a murderous rap group. I'm handing nah. beef to niggas like I'm serving the fast food. I should have been spaz, not a burden is past due. I'm handing beef to I'm handing beef to people. I'm handing beef to rappers. Like I'm serving up fast food. Like literally you hand like you hand fast food, you hand beef. Most fast food is revolved around beef. Hamburgers, when I was a little kid, I used to say hangerbers. <laughs> Hamburgers, tacos, breakfast tacos, Taco Bell. Really the only thing that doesn't revolve around beef is, is Chick-fil-A <laughs> and Canes. And he said, me and my alter ego, we make a murderous rap group. He's got enough flow for two people. I should have been spaz, not a burden is past due. Haters want to laugh at all the hurdles I ran through, but the word on the avenue is now they want to watch you pee like a fucking pervert in the bathroom, nigga. Ew, yeah, yo, oh. the ladies always tell me I'm... Now the word on the street is they want to watch you pee like a pervert in a bathroom, like watching you take a piss, but also UP is the name of his label. They want to watch you pee. Wordplay. And he said, haters want to laugh at all the hurdles I ran through. I didn't run over the hurdles. I went face at them. I ran right through them. I didn't go around them. That's fire. That one might slip people's head that he's saying it like that. Because whenever you think of hurdles, you think of jumping over and avoiding hurdles, but he's just running right through them bitches. It's not a one to watch you pee like a fucking pervert in the bathroom, nigga. Ew, yeah. The ladies always tell me I'm a real. Hold up, that edit right there was fire right there. When it with the hi hats and it goes back and forth between the next transition into the next portion of the video, that's fire. Want to watch you pee like a fucking pervert in the bathroom, nigga. Ew, yeah. The fire. ladies always tell me I'm a real cunt. These whack motherfuckers, that's a meal. Lunch. On every nah. instrumental, I'ma spill guts and I'm still nuts. Hello. Like Robocop scroll them. I'm giving niggas hell, but I really hope I'm not gone. <laughs> Yo, Hop has some ridiculous lines sometimes, bro. <laughs> I'm still nuts, like I'm still nuts, like I'm still up here in the head, I'm fucked in the head, but not S-T-I-L-L, S-T-E-E-L, -L, steel nuts, like Robocop scrotum, obviously made out of metal, steel nuts, steel nuts, yeah. And then he said, these whack motherfuckers, that's a meal. I'm eating up these whack motherfuckers, that's a meal, lunch. If anybody subscribed to Sirius Radio and you listen to Shave 4 or 5 and you listen to uh, you listen to Sway in the Morning when somebody freestyles and they go fucking hard and he grabs the mic, he's like, you whack motherfuckers. <laughs> but yo, he's going off right here. The flow switch up, he switched flows like three or four times already in the first minute and 15 seconds. And then the beat switched up with the flow. So it's like a different, it's like a different energy every time we get to a new, every time we get to a new set of bars. It's tight. But that's still nuts line though. I want spill guts and I'm still nuts. Hello. Like Robocop scrolled him. I'm giving niggas hell, but I really hope I'm not gone. And if uh, I do, I'm pulling up with hoes in my form. While the man above is watching with his coke and popcorn. But I guess I'm a villain, labeled as strange. Yo, man. Hop is just too good. A lot of people think that Hop's corny for some reason. I mean, not for some reason. I can... Oh, this, I fucked this mic up. Hold up. There you go. What was I saying? Yeah, oh, so a lot of people think that Hop can be corny. And I understand why in certain songs he just like... Shit is just corny to me. And it's corny to everybody, but that's kind of like part of his charm as who Hobson is. He doesn't take shit too serious, even though he knows that he's the real deal. But he said, I'm gonna give him hell, even though I hope I'm not going. And if I do, I'm gonna be whipping that form with some bad bitches in it while Jesus is watching with his popcorn, cause it's entertaining to him. Just the visuals that he's giving you. With hoes in my form, while the man above is watching with his coke and popcorn. Well, I guess I'm a villain, labeled as strange, labeled a clown, labeled deranged, labeled as someone you might put to shame, labeled a freak who's unable to change. I'm sick in the head, I'm sick mm. with the grind. I am not something you casually find. Where's the light? Give me a sign, cause I got way too much shit on my mind. And I'ma get it all out. Kumbaya, my lord, I might say things that you might not support. You know what's weird about this? It's not weird about the song, but I mean, obviously we're transitioning back into the back into the hook of the song. What's weird is that like, it's almost like it's opposite. Like where you would normally think that you would want to rise and like, and rise into a dramatic fashion into the hook. It's like the opposite. The hook is the calming part, which makes sense because the song is called Kumbaya. And the pre-course is just perfect because we're not coming off of like that high energy rap just directly into calming Kumbaya shit. We're going from high energy rap into like melodic singing style rap 
that and then boom back into the serene like kumbaya everything is right with the world type type hook that's dope and i'm gonna get it all out kumbaya my lord i might say things that you might not support when do i drop the torch bless my enemies with whom i mop the floor Yo, know, that that piano in the background that's just on the hook you can barely hear it just one note at a time that shit's fire I support when do I drop the torch bless my enemies with whom I mop the floor with it's true my thoughts are more bit I'm gonna do my job of course shit can't fit in my shoes niggas wishing not lose I'm gonna get it like I've been noticing this shift in the industry too many niggas who appear to be gritty flashing a nice jewel bragging up I've been noticing some shit in the industry. Too many people out here just just flashing. There's no there's no substance. Where they're just all flashing their flashing their riches. In reality, a lot of the riches that you see in the music video are not even their riches. The label provides it. So that way they can make the music video all flashy and then they take that shit away. But again, still not really fucking with the color grade of the music video. I don't know the intent behind it and it and that's one of the things about like video effects. It's like if it's not helping the story progress in any way, if it's not pushing it forward, then you're kind of just doing Doing it just as a gimmick. If it doesn't help the story, you're just doing it just to do it. Niggas who appear to be gritty, flashing a nice jewel, bragging about some pills and packing a rifle. You just gonna be another rapper to die soon. That's another body off the market. Rigor more to see them be from. He said, clack, clack, boom, that's another body off the market. Yo, because obviously you're taking the pills and we're talking about the epidemic, which is overdose right now, especially in the younger rappers and the in the Generation Z rappers where it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of glamorized. But that click, clack, pop sound in the background as another rapper to die, that shit's fuck. Now shit was, that shit goes hard. Right here. You just gonna be another rapper to die soon. That's another body off Fucking the market. Time. Rigor mortis, see them beef for police saw the car. Cause some of these niggas really bought it. They gonna show you all the corners. Now your mama gotta see you. Drop it slowly on a harness. Shit, it might be mean ass. I really mean it. Some of these people really bout that life. They gonna show you all the corners and not corners, like corner on the block, but like literally corners where your dead body is gonna be in the corner's office and your mama's gotta watch you slowly drop on a harness. That's always the most sombering noise in the middle of a funeral. It's just you know what I'm saying? But don't be talking about that action if you ain't really about that action because then you're gonna get caught out here in the street and you're gonna be a victim of what he's talking about. I gotta see you dropping slowly on a harness. Shit, it might be mean ass. I really mean nah, it. Nah. The reject that you all love, I ain't he man. Nah. Some niggas ain't got a piss and pop like a pin. They hate the planet so they come at you looking for revenge. That's why mm. I gotta go to sleep with the nine tuck. Niggas creeping up, fuck it, I ain't leaving survivors. One squeeze of your spine bus. Uh, actually, I don't want your dirty corpse on my carpet. Get the fuck out of here. My attitude's <laughs> that of a hoax smash me. Yeah, E, this this shot right here, this drone shot right here reminds me of Mortal Kombat. That's probably that's probably the vibe he was going for, especially considering that mask that he was wearing earlier. Kind of looked like Scorpion, but this reminds me right here of the Scorpion scene where he puts his hand out and then that shit opens right here and it shoots out. Get over here! But just like the humoristic aspect of the line that he's talking about, like you gotta keep the nine tuck because these haters always trying to these haters always trying to end your life. So you keep the nine tuck, one pull from the trigger, your spine bust. Nah, never mind. I don't want your dirty ass. I don't want your dirty ass corpse on my carpet. Get the fuck out of here. That's that signature Hobson shit right there. My attitude's that of a Hulk smash, mix of Tony Montana snoring bags of his coke stash. If it's Ooh. true that I'm a savage and cold rap, I might as well rock a white jacket and pope hat. This to me is like half. If I'm cold at rap, I might as well rock a white jacket. He said my attitude is Hulk smash because Hulk smash is the alter ego of, of Bruce Banner. Is that right? Someone correct me if I'm not right. But it's the alter ego of him. So it's the Hulk mixed with Tony Montana's coke stash. It's fire. This to me is like having your throat gagged and fuck to your inside sagging and prolapse. Big and Pac was a tragedy, no cap. But hearing me rap is like having a boat back. Yeah, so how can you Ooh, deny not hot, for who this is? Hot, 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 These are some bold ass fucking statements you're making, boy. He said, no cap, Big and Pac's death were a tragedy. But he Hearing me rap is like having them both back. Bro, that's a bold ass statement, son. I don't know about that one. I mean, to me, comparing Hobson to Tupac and the Biggie, psh, that's just like apples to oranges. Bitch, that phrase don't make no sense. Why can't fruit be compared? It's all of these conflicted principles. Nah, but for real, for real, the man right here is gifted, but I don't know about mixing Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> Big and Pac was a tragedy, no cap, but hearing me rap is like having them both back. Yeah, so how can you deny not for rude as I live in no cloud nine? Better believe the that bass coming in right there off beat, like you expect it to come in like right after he says having them both back, boom, and then it pauses and then it comes in. I love that off beat type shit. But hearing right me here. rap is like having a boat back. Yeah, so how can you deny not for rude as I live in no cloud nine? Better believe the altitude is high. Niggas say the game's better hops and attitude arrive. About to lace you motherfuckers with an album you could buy. Yes, I had to go retarded. I was dropped at birth. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did he say he's about to drop an album? I've been waiting, motherfucker. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna sound like I'm inconsiderate to like your mental health. I know you gotta get your shit right. So you do you, get your shit right up here and come with some fucking heat. Fuckers with an album you can buy. Yes, I had to go retarded. I was dropped at birth. Yo. Fuck all y'all. I'ma let my cock disperse. I got a constant urge to let the bombs emerge. And the only time I'm worn out is when his hops emerge. I'm a villain, label. The only time I'm worn out is when it's hops and merch because you literally wear the t-shirts out. But he's talking about worn out like mentally and physically. God damn, that was a bar. I think he said, yes, I had to go retarded. I was dropped at birth, like like dropped on his head. So he's going, he's going retarded, mentally challenged, but going retarded on the beat. When you're going retarded, you're like going ham, you're going in for all the people that don't speak English. Then he said, fuck y'all, I'm gonna let my cock disperse. Like fuck y'all, like you're like, you're having sex, but also fuck y'all, like I don't need y'all. Yeah. You can say he's corny all you want, but Hobson's clean with the bars. And the only time I'm worn out is when his hops emerge. I'm a villain, label the strange, label the clown, label the range, label the someone you might put to shame, label the freak who's unable to change. I'm sick in the head, but sick with the grind. I am not something you casually find. Where's the light? Give me a sign. Cause I got way too much shit on my mind. And I'ma get it all out. Come back. I thought, yeah, I thought I thought those were grill marks at first. I was like, boy, you're on top of a fucking wood fire. How the fuck are you gonna have grill marks? Nah, 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 he cut it so that way it, so it cooks more evenly, so the heat gets in there. But this pre-chorus right here, this whole shit is fire. This transition from rowdy energy to like kumbaya. This, this, this is the perfect fit to go from one to the next. Cause I got way too much shit on my mind. And I'ma get it all out. Kumbaya, my lord, I might say things that you might not support. When do I drop the torch, bless my enemies with whom I mop the floor with? It's true, my thoughts are more, bit. I'ma do my job, of course, shit. Can't fit in my shoes, niggas wishing I lose, I'ma get it like... Ah, that beat, son. The song's over, but we're gonna let the beat ride. Let that motherfucker breathe. Can't fit in my shoes, niggas wishing I lose, I'ma get it like... Editing is fire. Still don't fuck with the color grade, but the editing is fire, like the punch ins and the punch outs. That's another body off the market. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect ending. That's another body off the market. Fire. All right, hop. You did your motherfucking thing, bro. Uh, now, now you got us all hyped for the album. This was actually a legitimate single right here. What we had before was just like, it was just like, ah, I'm gonna get the hype up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop in on this COVID shit. I'm gonna hop in on this COVID freestyles, give, it, give everybody a nice little fun song to listen to while, for the time being while we're trying to pass the time. But this right here, this is like album mode, Hobson. This is like, all right, I'm focused up. My mind is right. I'm in my bag. Now it's time to drop some hot shit. And that's what we got right here. But yo, that ends today's video, ladies and gentlemen. That shit was fire. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. Helps the algorithm send it out there to all the other people who like reaction, breakdown, commentary, whatever the fuck you call my channel. Send it out there to the people that don't know that I exist. If you like what you see enough and the analytical feedback and the breakdown and catching bars and just explaining everything that's going on in my head, consider subscribing because this in-depth, analytical, long-form video, this is how we do it around here. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description. Hit up the Discord. Discord also linked in the description if you want to talk to me and other people that like this channel. Discord is the best place to do it. But that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Like I always say, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.